This tome has passed from Lord Seeker to Lord Seeker since the time of the old Inquisition. And now it falls to me. Are you all right? You look drained. On the contrary, it's a delight. I'm riveted. Oh, you're joking. I assume you know about the right of tranquility. The last resort used on mages in the circle, leaving them unable to cast, but depriving them of dreams and all emotion. It should only be used on those who cannot control their abilities, but that has not always been the case. Does the book say it was used for other things? No. As a seeker, I looked into... abuses. Mages made tranquil as punishment. What finally began the Mage Rebellion was the discovery the right of tranquility could be reversed. The Lord Seeker at the time covered it up. Harshly. There were deaths. It was dangerous knowledge. The shock of its discovery in addition to what happened in Kirkwall but it appears we've always known how to reverse the right, from the beginning. Why keep that knowledge a secret? We created the right of tranquility. I told you of my vigil. The months I spent emptying myself of all emotion, I was made tranquil and didn't even know. Then the vigil summoned the spirit of faith to touch my mind. That broke tranquility and gave me my abilities. The Seekers did not share that secret. Not with me, not with the Chantry, not even with... There's more. Lucius was not wrong about the Order. I thought to rebuild the Seekers once victory was ours. Now I'm not certain it deserves to be rebuilt. If anyone can rebuild them into something worthwhile, you can. But are they worth rebuilding? You could make them worth it. I will think on your words. Thank you. I could not have done this on my own. I was hoping we could speak privately. Are we not? Right. Of course we are. The flirting. With me. I've noticed it. Unless it is my imagination, which is entirely possible. No, it's not your imagination. You cannot court me if that's your intention. It's impossible. Why is it impossible, exactly? That should be obvious. Well, it isn't obvious to me. You intend to properly court me? You of all people? Is that what you want? No. I take it back. That is what I want. 
I want a man who sweeps me off my feet, who gives me flowers and reads me poetry by candlelight. I want the ideal. You are the inquisitor and the herald of Andraste. You cannot be that man. I can be that man, Cassandra. The world hinges on our actions. We face death at every turn, Inquisitor. That doesn't change how I feel. It changes everything. I have met a master of the game and lived to tell. A most humble welcome, Inquisitor. By the Maker, it's the Inquisitor himself. Would you care for a bouquet of flowers, Your Worship? The roses have been exceptional this season. I was looking for some flowers, in fact. Indeed. For what occasion, if I may ask? For a lady friend. Oh, 
No simple wildflowers for you then. I have just the thing. I'll send them to Skyhold, in fact. Rare beauties your lady will adore. So, what happened, exactly? Surfacers happened. It took all my coin for bribes just to find out the damn Templars ambushed my wagon before it got here. Thought I was bringing supplies to the robes. So it's out there, but who knows where. Any books of poetry in your wagon? Sure. Mages love that stuff. Fat lot of good it does me now.
I cannot stop thinking of our earlier discussion. You don't actually intend to go through with courting me, do you? I said I would, and I will. I believe you, yet... You don't sound like you believe me. It wasn't a challenge, my lord. You needn't do it simply because I suggested you could not. It's very simple. I care for you. <sighs> you enjoy making things complicated, don't you? I'd like to speak with you. In private. Oh? How private? There's a grove just outside of Skyhold. Meet me there. If you're certain... I am. Trust me. On aching branch do blossoms grow, the wind a hallowed breath. It carries the scent of honeysuckle, sweet as the lover's kiss. It brings the promise of more tomorrows, of sighs and whispered bliss. You can't be serious. I can, and I am. And that is the poem you chose? What's wrong with it? Carmenum di Amatus. I thought this one was banned. His lips on mine speak words not voiced, a prayer, which travels down my spine like flames that shatter night. His eyes reflect the heaven's stars, the maker's light. My body opens, filled and blessed, my spirit there. Not merely housed in flesh, but brought to life. Shall we read another? one of two things about me. That I stood at the Inquisitor's side, his protector and his lover, that it was meant to be, or they will say I was led from the path of faith by the wiles of a madman. I don't care what they say. What do you believe? I believe you are a faithful man. I believe... You are part of the Maker's plan. Beyond that, I believe only that you are capable of anything. And it frightens me. I have never known anything like it. I've been with only one other man in my life. A mage with whom I adventured when I was still very young. He died at the Conclave. I will not let Corypheus win. I will not let him take you from me. I love you. Here, tonight. I believe you. It's always wonderful to speak with you.
I was hoping we could spend some time together. As was I. 